Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the analysis of this channel. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Now, Raila Odinga is not currently in this country. He has traveled to India. And this was just a surprise to Kenyans. And it was immediate announcement that Raila Odinga was going to India. Some people were saying that Raila Odinga went for medication attention. Some say that it was for uh, because he's a big man in politics. And uh, across the world, his profile in politics is well known. And that is why he went to India because of the political and leadership forums. Some people also add another thing that I remember very well, I analyzed in this channel, saying that there was a strategical plan, well scripted, and also was to have a certain result that was going to make Raila Odinga organizing a political formation of 2027 and those are three main issues now i want us to dispute this issue of the trial of dinga went for medical attention it is because the close and those who are close to trial dinga they have said that trial dinga is okay the only thing that he has uh, a, he went to do in India, one, it is, it is two, one, it is because he's a man with a big profile in his political career and leadership, so he was welcomed with the, because of certain leadership and political forums in India. Number two, it is because Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, they are having a certain meeting in India with certain individuals across the world. And these individuals, one, among them are businessmen. Two, these are people who are political strategists. That uh, the reason behind that meeting is that the result must come out that will assist Raila Odinga for this time around maybe not vying as a presidential candidate, but supporting and endorsing a strong candidate that is going to throw out this government of William Samuto. So I want us to just look at the critical analysis of Raila Uhuru meeting in India. One thing that I want to clarify before we start is that Uhuru Kenyatta is still in the country but he will get out privately. No one will, will have that. The only thing that we'll hear is that Judge Uhuru had, fly to, uh, uh, had a flight to India. So we will keep on updating you so that you can understand uh, whatever is happening between Rail Odinga and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. So before we start the critical analysis of why Raila and Uhuru Kenyatta having a critical meeting in India, then if you're a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, please just do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. And again, don't forget to give a like to this video. Give a like to this video. Just take a second, give like to this video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the critical analysis of Raila Uhuru meeting in India. One, Raila Odinga has been facing a lot of challenge. And the main challenge is that many decades, vying as a presidential candidate five times, he has claimed that these people who have been taking over the government have been always rigging him out, including that person that they're having meeting with in India, that is Uhuru Kenyatta. And that is the plan, not, they have not, uh, the meeting has not yet uh, happened. It is a plan that Uhuru Kenyatta uh, should have a flight to India, then they meet. 
So Raelo Dinga's uh, this uh, issue of being rigged out is a biggest issue that Raelo Dinga has been fighting for a long period of time. For him, is having a retreat with Uhuru Kenyatta as a former system, the way he was being called, and a uh, person when it comes to uh, Raila himself is a political strategist, is trying to consult basically based on what is the next scenario toward his political formation. 1A, it means that he might vie as a presidential candidate 2027, which, according to me, age limit cannot hinder Raila Odinga to vie for 2027 election. But again, there's an advice that coming from his close ally that this time around, the political formation that is going to be formed, let it be a political formation that is different from the political formation that he has been having for a long period of time. So that this time round, there must be a face and a bigger percentage of youths. Number two, there must be a middle, there must be old, elderly. And that is what Raila Odinga is trying to weigh and try to, uh, to picture out how 2027 might come out. Number two, is that Raila Odinga is going to look at this, the late strategy that has been uh, making him uh, lose a bigger base. Because when we look at other candidates, they have been starting their politics for a long period of time. You can see even William Ruto started 2018, despite him being the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. So Raila Odinga, after coming from India, and that's also connect with the ultimatum that he gave William Ruto's government. Within a hundred days, if he will not fulfill the hundred days promises, he's going to come with a storm. Number three is that Okuru Kenyatta is promising, uh, the, the, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, they're going to ensure that the support base that they had in more Kenya region is going to be expanded. And to be expanded is that they're having to convince these old people that supported them in Mount Kenya region that were there. They, they're going to start uh, finding another way of having new supporters. Then finally, is that Raila Odinga is also consulting, consulting based worldwide when it comes to his political career. If any case is having impact when it comes to the politics of 2027, then he is going to do so. And if any case it is not possible, then he's going to endorse anyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? But I will still continue updating you. If anything is going to come, then up during that flight, I'm going to update you. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion in the comment section below. And if you're a visitor, subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.